Over 300,000 jobs were added, according to the March jobs report, making it the highest one-month boost in payroll since May 2023. I'm back with Connor from the Fact Check team, and oftentimes these reports are revised up or down, mm -hmm. obviously painting a, a picture of the job market that may be different than right. what was originally reported. Mm -hmm. Why does this happen? Well, Didi, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that's because the revisions include information that wasn't available at the time the numbers were originally released. So the initial job change estimate for any given month is preliminary and based on information from businesses that report their data on time. And usually the Labor Department assumes the sample represents all the other companies and employers that haven't reported their numbers yet. And how often are these revisions made? So they're made a lot. Every time a jobs report is released, the department publishes a second preliminary estimate one month after the initial release, and then a third estimate two months after the initial release. Then every year they recalculate nearly two years of this data in a process called benchmarking. Any indication on how big some of these recent revisions have been? Yeah, Didi, so January's numbers were revised up by 27,000 jobs, and February's were revised down by 5,000 jobs. And over the last 10 years, the absolute benchmark revisions have averaged 0.1%. All right, Connor, thank you. And for more on this Factory Team topic, including including links to their sources, lots of numbers here. Scan the QR code on your screen for more information or visit thenationaldesk.com.